Well, shooters and reloaders, they close the out range so we can't run our chronograph. So let's just go ahead and shoot our 38 short Colt with four grains of universal and see uh, how they perform for us. Just uh, get a rough. Please report that those four grain of universal loads are very light in pressure and there's a lot more room that we can go ahead and increase the powder charge easily and safely. So for a first, first run that uh, isn't bad, it shows us quite a bit. So we can very easily go to five grains. The accuracy at 15 yards is nothing to write home about. But uh, it's not bad and it's trying to shoot a uh, nice group. With uh, more powder, uh, we might get uh, very much improved accuracies. Well, to go home on, I'll shoot some one-handed shots at, uh, looks like about a little more than 10 yards out there. So at about 11 yards, we got two shots up here and then 10 shots here. So if I don't heal them, I'm okay, but if you heal them, they're up here. If you drop one, it's down there. These are okay. But these are losers in our bullseye. Well, shooters and reloaders, with these 38 short Colts over here, you don't have the massive power and thunder of a full house 357 Magnum. You don't have the smack of a heavy wad cutter in a 38 Special. You don't have a cowboy load in the 38 Special with a light 95 grain bullet. But you sure have a very efficient, small, package that can be used for cowboy action and get very decent velocity with say 4.6 grains of universal even go to 5 grains of universal later on if that's necessary and a 105 grain semi wad cutter very useful bullet for all kinds of recreational use plus shooting at the range this kind of thing the 38 short colt adds a lot of versatility to the 38 357 Magnum platform.